Well, hello everyone and welcome back to another fucking adventure. I'm here with Zenrod still. He has not left me to my own devices oh. yet. I'm still here for some reason, talking about Harry Potter's first kiss. Yes, so let's go back into it. His first kiss, which is a big bummer for him, because he's like, finally, I'm going to get this girl. This girl is still going through the trauma of the fact that her boyfriend died. So, she starts kissing Harry, and then he's... All right, wasn't she banging Cedric Diggory? Yes, Cedric, who is uh, in every way possible better than Harry. dead. Potter. He's dead. He's dead as fuck. He's DOA. He was dead on arrival when he went to go join the Wizard Cup. Um, so she starts kissing him. And I'm going to guess either because she's sad because she is betraying the guy she loved for this asshole Harry Potter who seemed to just live. Fucking douche Harry Potter. I'm just going to say right now, Harry fucking slid into her DM so quick after after that guy died. <laughs> like, he didn't even yeah, wait. Especially because he died helping Harry, right? Like, come on, man. Yeah, she has some fucking class, Harry Potter. Also, Get notice decorum, how... Decorum, maybe. How we lost almost all our cards. Let's but first let's talk about Roland Keg, the president, the present president of the English Gobstones Quidditch team. So this guy isn't even a player; he's just literally like, "I own a team. Put me on the card. Put me on the card. I own a Quidditch team. I've had one before. It's perfect." So yeah, he slid into this girl's. He tried to slide into this girl's pants so hard like the body was not even cold when he tried <laughs> <laughs> the body was not even cold the body wasn't cold that motherfucker just died for him and he was already going like so you're available is that what i'm hearing <laughs> so he kisses her trust me cedric is dead i was there oh i was there when the dark lord came back like you know i did my best to help him but you know Shit just happens. He told me to bring back his body. Aren't, aren't I a considerate guy? <laughs> aren't I fantastic? Harry Potter's my name, by the way. I don't know if you heard. I was the boy who lived. Wizard Savior, that's me. Wizard Jesus, I believe that is what is on my name tag. So anyway, uh, she starts crying mid-kiss because she's feeling so many emotions. And fucking Harry <laughs> starts, I think when he's talking to Rod, he says, I think she started crying and he's like i don't know it felt weird because but then like the book starts to talk about how like her tears are going into the kiss so they sat so they tasted salty <laughs> and i was like okay jk i think somebody's to get take away the fucking book from you <laughs> for like a brief second someone should have said can you not get into the fact that harry is like kissing through this woman's tears yeah, it, it definitely has an interesting uh, connotation to it when you put it that way. Yeah, it's like, Harry, th there's a time and place. <laughs> they re you really shouldn't have been doing that. And then I think, like, they ended up breaking up a little bit later because um, one of her friends betrays the Order of the Phoenix. And she gets, like, a terrible curse put on her because Hermione puts it on her. And then instead of being like considerate to his girlfriend, he goes like, "Yeah, the bitch deserved it." Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so they break up because he refuses to like look at the other side of Is like that like Harry Potter is a super red pill douchebag. One hundred percent. Like that's how I feel. <laughs> And it's, it's like, yeah. He's, there's like so many like later on. Of, bitch, deserved <laughs> bitch deserved it. I think that's a literal. Questioning in, uh, are you questioning Wizard Jesus, bitch? Listen, I think we said at the start that we were all down with the fact that someone was going to get cursed if someone fucking snitched. Your friend snitched because she was weak. She's not like me. She's the she's the girl who snitched, she's honestly. <laughs> and she the deserved... girl who snitched. <laughs> the girl who snitched. You're finally inside your family vault. It's hard to believe you never knew about it before. <laughs> Fucking Harry. Look at him with his millions. I was the boy who lived. She was the bitch who snitched. <laughs> <laughs> the bitch who snitched. <laughs> Oh god damn it! <laughs> She's the bitch you snitched. 
much. <laughs> she also has her own wizarding card. Actually, I made it for her. She can go check it out. I think I put her name under Cho Chen's fucked up friend and put it in the bitch who snitched. That's the biography on the card. <laughs> it just says the bitch who snitched. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fuck. Yeah, so <laughs> a lot of like what Harry does. Harry, <laughs> Harry is like a really shitty boyfriend, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, he's like a huge yeah. asshole. He is, and then I still can't get over the fact that I think that Ron is just 100 percent okay with the fact that he's going out with his the younger sister. I'm just saying, if I was in that, well, same... they've been friends for a long time. I mean, maybe they've been friends for a long time, but I feel like at a certain point you got to go like. I'm sorry, you're doing what to my son? Because he also realizes that Ron was super unokay with the fact that that man, like, his sister was out giving, like, handjobs behind his back or something when she started, like, hitting <laughs> puberty. <laughs> so, he's like, I'm super not okay with the way Jenny's handling. And then Harry's like, damn, do you have her number? <laughs> Can I talk <laughs> with her? No, she already has yeah, a boyfriend. It's super fucked up that Ginny's doing that, bro. You know what wouldn't be fucked up? If she was doing it to me. Yeah, listen. I think we're real good friends. You're like a brother. So I think we should treat our sister a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ginny's like my sister. But she's like one of my sisters from one of those videos I showed you. Where they're like, they, they say the girl is like the stepsister. But they're not really related. <laughs> <laughs> One of those muggle videos that I showed you. Oh, there's a, that I heard a noise outside, and I think that's J.K. Rowling going. <laughs> She's trying to steal, steal these ideas for later. She's like, oh, this is all, this is all <laughs> good stuff. I'm going to come out on Twitter with this shit in a minute. Yeah, so after being cursed, she was known as the bitch who snitched. <laughs> Harry was a real asshole about it. He did not let it go at all. We're gonna find this on that character's Wikipedia page. <laughs> oh god, I wish. Alright, so here's my next quest is that I have to get ready for school. So I have to get three robes, a winter cloak, a pointed hat, a pair of gloves, one potion kit, a set of first year books, and a cauldron. Simple, right? Now, I actually have huh? a buttload of money, so let's not waste it on frog cards, even though every fiber of my being says, yo, you know what would be good right now? The boy who lived, now, summer 2019, the bitch who snitched. The story you never thought you needed. Oh, it's Malfoy, looking the most crow magnum. Malfoy's such a douche. Malfoy is like a Fine douche. Like an unbearable douchebag. The funny thing is, is that eventually they tried to make you feel bad for him, but I just like... Nah, dude. Fuck that guy. Fuck Malfoy. Yeah, fuck Malfoy. Ain't about letting his shit pass. Alright. A winter cloak, some gloves. I think I need a hat. I forget, do I need a belt? All right, now let's just quickly equip everything. Uh, yeah, what I'm saying is, is that Harry, later writing of J.K. Rowling is really something. It feels like no one told her. The thing is, don't go out with Harry Potter. I think that's like the number one thing, especially like later on when I, th I think J.K. is like trying to live vicariously. Like she saw that a lot of. Because uh, I do think J.K. Rowling is an actually very talented writer. I really do like a lot of her stuff. I really like Harry Potter, at least, of uh, the stuff she's written. But I feel like after, uh, at a certain point, she got really angry that a lot of women were getting famous for writing fan fiction. So she's like, I can do that shit too. Watch. Watch me make shit uh, of my own shit. Exactly. That's right. Watch. Go go to the Hogwarts.com or whatever the name is of her website is, and you can read oh, about uh, Pottermore. 
Pottermore. Go to Pottermore and you can read all about Ginny's many sexual conquests before she went to <laughs> Harry. <laughs> there you go. You can read about Ginny. You can write, read about Joe Chen's friend that I cannot remember the name of to save <laughs> the life of me. <laughs> because all I want to say is that bitch who snitched is her legitimate name. She's gonna write a fucking story about Ginny's sexual escapades. It's gonna be Fifty Shades of some fucked up weird wizard color. Fifty Shades of Red, because she's a redhead. I just, I, I'm sure there's some dumbass word in the ninja. Uh, the, I said ninja <laughs> in the wizard world. <laughs> I'm conflating it with Harry Potter or the Naruto now. I'm going to be the next Hokage. <laughs> Dumbledore, I can't sell the you. Bitch snitched is of course Sasuke. Oh, he's 100% the bitch who snitched. This guy, my fucking drug dealer that got me into the cards is over here. Okay, he's the one who's trying to tell me that there's secrets everywhere. But I already bro, got Bro, you liking these cards, bro? <laughs> bro, go inside, reach inside the barrel real quick. I feel about these cards, bro. Come on. I know you love, um... Oh, I found a card, by the way. <laughs> I was about to make up a name, <laughs> but now I'm not gonna have to. I know you love <laughs> Gaspard Shingleton, celebrated inventor of the self-steering cauldron. <laughs> These guys have to all be canon, right? They actually just went to JK and said, like, do you have some uh, wizard names? That's what they did. Could you just name some stuff for me? Oh, you got it. This guy's named Flippy Wad Big Bumble Bum, and he's the first man to ever accidentally set his ass on fire while trying to make a potion. It's like, well, that's <laughs> that's great, J.K., but uh, that's not. What All right I mean. then. <laughs> sure. Not, this is a kid children's game, so please keep in mind. She's like, oh, fine, whatever. If you guys want to be fucking, if you guys gonna be PC about it, and then that's when J.K. started invented the term social justice warrior <laughs> right then and there. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm 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 with the cause. Let me tell you about my first Jewish wizard, uh, uh, Benny Goldstein, <laughs> who was totally a real. Are you a collector? I have a card that might interest you. Guys, it's, it's deep in my pocket, Harry. Hold on, reach in there, Just grab reach it, in. reach in. Oh, uh, he wants Cersei. I don't even know what that is. Must be a firsty. Sorry to bother you. So this man tried to totally pr pr proposition us. But he isn't even going to give me the damn card. That's the worst thing. I think there is actually a way to get the stone that he wants, but I have to keep on grinding a bunch of rats, and, you know, I'm not about that life right now. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, I need a cauldron. I'm going to get the most expensive cauldron. Damn right. Because I'm fucking balling. I'm balling out of control right now. Let's see. I think right now I can actually make a potion of some kind. The question is, can I? I actually don't know any fucking recipes. So there's that. So we're not going to do that. All right. I think everything we got is uh, ready for school. But I'm going to say that's it for our Harry Potter adventure. So maybe we'll pick this up again. So if I ever feel like just talking about Harry Potter <laughs> and the video <laughs> bitch is my many many uh thoughts about it because growing up i never had anyone that actually legitimately wanted to talk about harry potter except for uh a friend of mine in high school who is uh, uh i just never kept in contact with because i didn't believe in I, th this is actually going to get into really weird territory for me but i was like i'm never going to see these high school guys again i'll see you guys later <laughs> so all the friends i made in <laughs> high school oh all right then I was like, I'll see you all, I guess, at some point if our lives ever cross. And then I disappeared from their lives. Oh. Well, all right, then. Just like Harry Potter disappears from all the women he's ever banged. Find my out for uh, the bitch who snitched on shelves this summer. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a bestseller. They're going to call it the most forward-thinking piece that, t that really tells you the plight of snitches and bitches. <laughs> They didn't feel it was. They really felt that they should have given uh, Cho Chen's, uh, which I, again is that actually her name? <laughs> Just to Chang. Be, 
<laughs> Cho Chang. Cho Chang's. Oh God, I can't believe that's actually her name. They have to give Cho Chang's uh, friend a legit name. Yeah, it's Cho Chang. I mean, yeah. All right, I'll see everyone later. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, guys. <laughs>